NASA knew that it was going to be significant, and they called all the various camera manufacturers and asked them to show up and help record the last space shuttle launch after 30-some years of launching space shuttles into space. We had a prototype high-speed camera. It was the first one that could go 120 frames per second. Also, we took along Stefan Lucas Bradley to handle the technical side. We took three cameras. Two of them were rigged a thousand feet from the launch pad in a doghouse that was protected from the rain, didn't really protect it from the sun. This was July in Florida. Uh, the ambient air temperature was over 95 degrees. Inside the doghouse, the temperatures were probably well over 115, 120 degrees. We were asked to put the cameras out on the launch pad 11 days early. The reason for that is it's so dangerous being there that if a thunderstorm comes, they will ask everybody to leave because they're afraid of you getting struck by lightning. You never know that you might not ever get back to see your camera again prior to the launch. The last time I saw it was three days before the launch. During this period of time when it's sitting out there in the sun for 11 days, it's running the entire time. You have to turn it on and leave it on because you don't know if you're ever going to get back to see it again. So the first time we went out to visit it after it sat in the sun for a couple days, Stefan Lucas Bradley uh, called up the special menu where he could see all the temperatures of the various components throughout the camera and was like going, oh my God, and called the engineers, the designers in Munich. They said, well, read us off the temperatures. And he read, it, read off the temperatures and said, eh, it's not a problem. So I'm here to tell you, the cameras that sat out there in that tremendous heat for 11 days, being sequenced by the same computer that fires the explosive bolts, lights the rocket motors, triggered our cameras, and recorded this amazing moment in history. It was amazing. The ground was shaking. The impact of the sound was shaking you. It was, it was an amazing experience. Probably one of the most amazing things I've ever done.